All right, well, welcome back to an episode of Attempting to Fish with Flair. I am here, I am here with Matt. We're at a pond somewhere over there. It's freezing outside, it's been raining all day. I just had to get a video out. I know like I tried to do like the whole like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and I was thinking about just like making a family unboxing, but those just get so lame. So I'm gonna attempt to fish. I'll probably end the video with the family unboxing if we fail, but it's cold, it's rainy, but I'm gonna catch some fish. We'll uh, start down here. Ooh, oh, we got clear water. Why am I throwing a black and blue chatterbait? Son of a gun. Let's see if we can catch fish before we get hypothermia. I thought for sure it'd be muddy after all the rain today. When you can't fill your hands while fishing, it's a good idea to throw a buzz bait. Yeah. Good tips, Flair, good tips. Yeah, like a shallow jerk bait would be freaking bomb here. I've got some in the truck. Might have to go back in a little bit and change up colors and stuff. I'm bringing out, bringing out the uh, finesse. Going with the old, uh, Little shacky head. That's how to catch the toads. Oh, there's a fish. Oh! Oh! When I said the hook, it felt pretty big. Seven pounder, where you at? I'm gonna make a move. There's some, I don't know, better looking area, I guess, over here. A little calm, calmer water, I don't know. I'm thinking if, if it's cold, the fish might want some more water that's chill, you know? I like chill water. So we'll see, Let's see if they like this area better. I'm gonna toss a weightless stanko in there though. Again, I don't know why I brought black. Should have brought green pumpkin. Oh, I think I found the juice. This spot looks great. I'm just gonna go all out. I don't care, I'm throwing a buzz bait. Oh, I just had one on a buzz bait. Oh, we're gonna do the old uh, fishing a flare special here. Grab the uh, the old stanko, chuck that right on top of that bad girl. Watch the magic happen. Oh, it's game over. You exposed yourself. You can't go back. You have to bite the sanko. No going back, boy. Don't back out now. Oh, what a wimp. You you can't just do that. You can't act like you're all bold to hit a buzz bait. And then when I throw a little wimpy easy meal Sanko in there, you don't touch it. Well, right now we're walking back. We uh, we expected dirty water since it rained. We've got the wrong color of lures on. We've got a lot of dark colors, black and blues. And normally when the water is clear, you'll want like a green pumpkin or watermelon, that type of stuff. So we're gonna tie on some different baits and uh, go back and see if we can catch some fish. It's freaking freezing though. Oh yeah, that'll jerk bait. That'll do the trick. We just spent about five, 10 minutes tying on new baits. Matt put on a green pumpkin chatter bait, uh, green pumpkin sank. I put on green pumpkin shaky head, a jerk bait, and I'm bringing the buzz bait with me. I as well brought my eye bobber because I have no idea what the water temperature is. Once we figure out the water temperature, it might help me decide whether they're, they're gonna be on the bottom or top water is an option, as well as how deep it is because I'm bringing a jerk bait with me. So uh, we'll see. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty determined to catch a fish at this little pond here. So right now it's showing the water temperature is about 59 degrees and five and a half feet. So that's, I mean, that's deep enough to throw a jerk bait. I thought it'd be a little deeper than that, but not, not quite. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the jerk bait. Now that I know it's five feet. I mean, I think my jerk bait probably will go down maybe a little deeper. I'll try to keep my rod tip up, but that's, uh, that's why you get little portable sonars like this dude right here. Figure out how deep your ponds are, and then uh, see if we can get anything going on this jerkbait. All right, let's see if my little jerkbait. You guys never see me throw, I mean, I've literally probably never thrown a jerkbait in a YouTube video before. I don't know, it's just one of those baits, like, they're good, like, you can catch a ton of fish on them, but you gotta, like, somewhat know what you're doing. Not that I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't know, I just, it, I've never had one of those days where, like, the jerkbait bite's good enough to where I can, like, oh yeah, this is working, or this isn't working, like, I've just never caught fish, so I just never think I'm doing it right. But just gotta give it a give it a chance here and see what happens. One tip for jerkbait fishing: if you are fishing like somewhat shallower water, like I am today, normally you want to go with like a higher diameter line. Like I probably should be throwing like 15 to 17 pound line, and maybe even mono to float. But I'm throwing 12 pound fluoro. It's just what I had on. So what you do is, if you're fishing shallow water, you just keep your rod tip up high when you when you twitch it. Like you'll twitch it up. You'll still get a fairly decent amount of action out of the jerkbait. It won't be quite as good as twitching your rod tip down. 
but it'll keep your your jerk bait from digging down into the mud and the, the weeds and stuff like that oh oh dude that was a fish oh i just had a hit <laughs> so since the water's clear i'm going with this more natural natural color one other tip for you guys that i don't hear a lot of people talk about i mean i know like i know it's true but i just haven't heard it i'm sure there's been guys out there so i mean i'm not saying that i invented this by any means but usually when it's cloudy you want to go with darker baits like like green pumpkins june or sorry not green pumpkins like june bugs and and black and blue and when it's sunny you want to go with watermelons and green pumpkin that is another tip i mean since the fishing absolutely blows i might as well get, fill this video with some tips for you guys so maybe you guys can catch fish even though i can't all right so i'm moving i'm gonna there's one spot on this pond that i haven't hit yet we're gonna give it a shot pitch a little uh shaky on this weed line here and see if there's anything chilling chilling like a villain other than freaking weeds all right I'll give the uh, jerk bait one last shot before we uh, i think we've got one more pond we can hit after this but <clears throat> i don't know i just got i got a weird feeling about today that it's like if i just give it enough time i'll catch a good fish here but i could be completely wrong i'll just give it couple more casts here before calling it a day oh oh there's one i got one oh i got him on the jerk bait oh oh is that a crappie what no is that a bass is that a crappie what the heck did i just catch oh my God. <laughs> dude this is the biggest crappie i've ever seen in my life oh my do you guys see how big this crappie is? Oh my god. What the heck is this thing? Like a bass there. Dude, I was like, oh, that's for sure a bass, and then I saw its mouth. I don't know if you guys could tell how big that thing is, but that's like easily 12 inches. Holy smokes. Dude. Like, oh my god. look at that compared to my hand. All right, we're gonna put him on my fishing rod, and then I'll measure when we get back to the truck. So the crappie goes from here up to this little like nub right there. So I'll measure it when I get back. Wow, I haven't caught a crappie on camera. I don't think ever. That's so sick. He hit that mega bass jerk bait. All right, we'll get a release on this little dude. See ya, Adrail. He smoked this mega bass jerk bait. One more cast of the jerk bait, and then we'll go by those reeds. I just like twitched one time and hurt, felt thunk. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, that's a second jerkbait fish. Oh, I don't know what this is. What do I catch, a bluegill catfish? What is this thing? Oh, it's a bat. Jeez, and rice. Calm down, little buddy. Whoa, look at that fish. It's like a spotted bass. Look at the colors on that, the pattern. See the pattern? Look at that thing. He's got crazy pattern. Oh, let's uh, be smart here and use some pliers. Well, I caught a little squeaky squeak. But so far, this jerkbait, I'm, uh, Finding a little bit of success with this little dude. I knew I, some reason I had confidence in this thing going into it, that if I gave it enough time and figured out the cadence that the fish like, that'll catch some fish, which I think that really all the cadence, I'm throwing it out there, reeling a couple times, doing like a twitch, 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 like one, two, three, maybe like a little one, two, and that's usually when they're hitting. There's one. Oh, geez. Oh, he came off. Son of a. That might have been a big bass. My little rod loaded up on that one. Oh, I dude, I got, I, I found them. Drop the poles, we found them, boys. Drop the poles, we on them. You have a fish? I wanna see how big he is. Try it, try it. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh God, Matt's got a big one. Middle school track trained me for this moment. Let's go. Oh dude, that's a little piggy. Yeah. Well, I'm out of breath, wow. I need to quit eating so much, so many Jim and John sandwiches. Is that on the Ned Rig? Yeah. No way, look at that. Chunk. Chunk on the Ned Rig, dude. Easily three. It's a good fish. All right, release that girl. Good work. Nice. Good work. That's awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Go to the new, new pond, then go get some food. All right. On to the next pond. All right, so we made it to the pond. We've got like, yeah, it's seven o'clock. We got a little bit of time here. 
There better be some 10 pounders in this. Holy smokes. That's a pond that's completely covered in weed, so I didn't bring my frog. All I've got is a buzz bait, which is really awesome for weeds. <laughs> yeah, GoPro can't see shit. Oh my god! Oh, that's an owl! That's an owl! I, that thing was about to swoop. It was about to swoop on this buzz bait. Dude, that owl, you guys probably could see it. That owl was no farther away than this freaking rod tip. And I'm wearing all black, so there's no way that thing saw me. I thought that thing was about to take me away. Oh, hell no, nah, I ain't about to die. That was straight pterodactyl looking shit. Oh my god. I'm getting the hell out of here. I ain't trying to get swooped by no pterodactyl. Freaking Jurassic Park looking ass pond. All right, so we're ending the fishing segment, but I think, I think I broke my PB crappie. So I measured it on my rod and I'm gonna take the tape measure and see how long it was. Right now, my PB is like 14 and a half inches for crappie. So we'll see if we beat that. You can see they're just about 16 inches, almost 16 inches. So I broke it by like an inch. So new PB crappie, changing my channel from bass fishing to crappie since I'm just the crappie master now. But I'm gonna go get some food, go home, and then I'm gonna go over a little bit of my tactics, I think maybe, of what, I'm, what I did today to catch what I catch, a crappie and a bass, and then Matt, Matt caught a bass. So we'll go over, over that. And then also, if you guys are looking to get attacked by an owl, I've got the exact rod reel line and lure that you can use in order to do so. It's a wonderful day at Chick-fil-A. My name is Andrew, I'm the answer of you. Oh, that's cool, my name's Andrew too. Oh, I like your name. Uh, I like yours. All right. Uh, can I get a uh, eight count Chick Fil A nugget? Okay. If I but if I get like a frosted lemonade, do I save any money by not getting a normal drink and getting the frosted lemonade, or do I? Is it the same if I get a drink and a frosted lemonade? Um. All right. Can I get your name for the order? Oh, yeah. sorry. Already oh, you that. you already know the name. You Thank you. Me too. Chick-fil-A, one of the best places to get food. Not better than Jimmy John's, but close. So, as you guys know, I enjoy teaching you guys how to fish. So I'm gonna quickly, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I'm gonna go over my tactics today that I used to catch a crappie, a small bass, and my friend used to catch a bass. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't really wanna go fishing. I'm sick, I've got a cold, it was freezing. But I know you guys want to see fishing content. You you don't want to see me like sitting in here like unboxing stuff. I know it's boring. If you want to know like the specific rods, reel, line, lures that I was using, uh, all that stuff will be down below. I don't have like any of it with me, so I don't want to like get it wrong with like what what model favorite rod I was using or like what pound test line. Put it all put it all down below. I'll just go over more of like my tactics. And what I started with, I think I started with the chatterbait. That just didn't work. We were fishing super clear water. I used my eye bobber to, to see what the water temperature was, how deep it was, all that stuff. And once I determined how deep it was, it was like five and a half, six foot deep, I went to a jerk bait. And then a little bit while later, uh, my friend Matt caught about a three pounder on a Ned rig. So if you guys don't know like which jerk bait I was using or like what a Ned rig is, like I said, it'll all be down below. How you work a jerk bait though is you, I usually throw it out there, crank down a few times, and then you twitch it. Uh, you kind of twitch your rod. When you twitch your rod tip down, you want to throw your rod tip back, basically, because what happens is you'll pull it, and when you sling it back, it'll kind of do like a little veer to the side, and that's usually like what the bass want. And you just have to figure out the cadence, and the cadence is how often you twitch it and how long you make a pause for, and they just seem to kind of really just want like a little bit of a light dart, dart to side, pause type deal. Dart, dart to side, pause type deal. Yep, that one. That's what they wanted. Bingo. Nailed it. And then the Ned Rig, you throw it out there. You let it sink. You basically hold your line tight. And then every once in a while, you'll kind of pop it like you'll do like a little hop type deal. It's like a do nothing bait. If you guys are just looking to find fish, definitely pick up the net rig. It, it, it catches everything. Big fish apparently too, and uh, catches a lot of small ones. But that's basically it for our tactics. There's not really much else I can teach you guys. I mean, fall fishing sucks in Nebraska. It, it's pretty, I mean, like, I wouldn't say it all the time sucks, but like, it's super hit or miss. Either you do really well or you do really bad. And there's just, it's really tough for me to find the time to dial in fish. Uh, like you really need to in the fall. You got to be able to find the, the bait fish or the shad or wherever the bass are hanging out. The, the bass tend to group up in the fall a lot. And a lot of times it takes more than just like one three hour fishing adventure to find the fish. I just don't have all that time. I got school to do. I spent like seven hours doing math homework this morning. Long day. But I know you guys want to see fishing content. So I went out and I fished. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. 
Uh, I think I'm going to go fishing tomorrow. The weather should be better. I'm going to do my best to get out on the water tomorrow as well because then I think the rest of the week kind of sucks as far as weather-wise goes. Drop a comment if you have a suggestion. I'm going to go duck hunting, I think, one or two times this week. So hopefully if you guys like duck hunting or you duck hunters out there will enjoy that. Looking to go deer hunting, um, all that fun stuff. So look forward to new stuff other than pond fishing for bass like today's video. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh God, if that hooked my, if, if I hooked my buzzbait on the owl, I would have just given it my, I would have let go of my rod and let it take it. Not a chance I would stop that thing.